Let's get started. The first thing that we want is we want to create three target fields. The first target, the second target, and the third target. So the third target will be our goal, actually. This is really the, the lower of the way that we want to reach. So target one, uh, let's say let's, we start at 70, we start at 65, and then 60 is our ultimate goal. 60 is the weight in kilo that we want to reach. What I'll be doing also, I'll be naming those fields so it'll be easier to refer to later on. So I just go on the top left field and I put target one, doesn't like blank, so I have to be target one like this, target two, and this one, target three. You guessed it. Something else that I would like to have is a start date. Start date. And then uh, let's say 1st of Jan 2024. This way here I can have a date and I can have a uh, refer back to this first date here. And then all the other dates will be that date plus seven days. I'm going to go on a weekly basis. Plus seven. I'm going to drag it all the way down until I reach the year. Uh, what do we do? Uh, getting close. I should do it. Now this is where I will be inputting my weight. So this is the input. Now I need to create four other uh, columns. So I'm just going to give you some example here. 75, 74, 73 back to 74, 72, 75, a little bit all over the place just to, so this is the what I'll be inputting. So let's start to input this. Now I have my three targets and I have the goal. So this will mean am I above target one? Am I above target two? Am I above target three? And lower than target two? And have I reached my goal? So the first one will be I'm still above my target one. I haven't reached my target one yet. Uh, you'll understand why we need to duplicate. So we, there's a bit of duplication, but that's because we want to have different charts, different colors. So, so I'm just going to do the formula now. If this field here is strictly above my target one, I will input that number. Otherwise, I will put not applicable. Not applicable is good because the chart can just ignore it and I can drag that down. Now the second target, uh, we, are, we have reached our first target but we are still above the target too so I need an N here. If our current weight is greater, strictly greater than our target two but our current weight is smaller or equal to our target one now if this is the case I want it I'm at this level or else not applicable So what I could do is I could just lock the E here so I, I can lock, lock the E so I can just drag it, lock the E. So now when I drag it, I just need to change the target two to target three and target one to target two. So I'm between target two and three. I haven't reached yet my goal. And so the final one, I actually don't need an N here, but uh, when my current weight is smaller than the, the target three. So I'm just going to remove all this target three. And that's it. Target three. Okay, that's because I removed the end, so I need to remove this. And now 
Okay, so just to illustrate a little bit, let's say that uh, one is above my first target, so it'll be showing there. Uh, let's say if I have something at 66, for instance, it's still here. 64, it will be there, and 59, it will be there. So you see how it works. Okay, now we have enough information to build our chart. So I'm, just, I'm not going to do the full chart, so it's easier to follow on the screen. I'm just going to select the dates where we already have some data. I will be selecting the input and those three here. And I will go under Insert and uh, never take the recommended chart. I will take this one here, which is Line with Markers. And now you can already see that Excel done the work for us. It's already have uh, separated, uh, uh, given our bullets with different colors. So before I go any further, what I want to do is I want to have a dark background. So this way, when I choose my colors, uh, I can um, see them now what they look like instead of having to change them later on. So I want to have a gradient feel. So here I've already have something here. So it's just you go into under gradient stops and you make sure that you select, I have a purple in my case. Uh, if, if you feel that the color selected is not dark enough, you go under more color and you play with a slider here. So for instance, here I'm going to put it a little bit darker even on one side. And then you, you choose the darkness on the other side. I just can put it uh, let's say a little bit lighter for the time being, just to show you. So it's exactly the same. <laughs> uh, it's not very, I'm just going to put it instead very, very, very dark, Practi practically black. Okay, so that's it. So uh, now I will be removing those grids. It's a bit dark in there. So this we will actually not, we will not be needing this, but I'm just going to put them in white for the time being. So it's a little bit clear. Now those four data series here, I will keep them as uh, with a marker. And this one, I will remove the marker. But those four here, uh, I want to remove the line on them. So I will be doing the same process for these four series. So I select one. So here, that's says target two. Actually, let me do, it, do them in order so it's we know what we're doing. So target one here. There's three things I want to do. The first thing is I want to remove the line. No line, so it won't be obvious now but it will be towards the end. The second thing I want to do is I want to go in the marker, marker options, and I want to click on the built-in and I want to put a bigger size. I want to put a seven here. I want to do a fill with solid fill with white. Uh, no, sorry. So this is where we start to choose our color. So I'm just going to put them in the order here. I'm going to put a light green. And the white I was mentioning before, it's just the, the border. I want a solid white border. That's it, it's already selected. And I'm just going to increase the width to 125. So let's see. That's it. So the first one has been done already. Now I'm selecting the second one there and I will be doing the same. Marker, marker option, built in size of seven, solid fill. I choose my color and it's going to go progress from right to left. Border, solid line, white, width of 125. We shall continue. This one here, the input one, uh, what I want to do is I want to put it in maybe white, <laughs> not that bad, and thinner, and I want to put it in dots like this. Well, that's not enough. That's it. So now I have different colors for every target. Uh, 
that's it. Now we have some very distinctive colors. I think we all agree on this. Uh, I don't need to do, I re remove the legend at the bottom. Uh, the date, we'll uh, have a look at that later on. So this is finished for the time being. Now what I want to do is I want to add the targets lines. So same here, I will just copy and paste the description here, target one, two, three. And what I want to have is horizontal bar at 75, uh, one at 65 and one at, I could have put the, the name of the field, but that's okay. And I'm just going to copy that across all the way across. I'll put that all the way down later on. But for the time being, that will be sufficient. And what I'll be doing is I will be copying this and I will be pasting that here. So same div here. I can uh, put, remove the marker, marker option, none. The line, I need to go back to the line, solid line. I'm going to put something very thin and I want to put some type of uh, so it has to match the color that I've given for this so it looks like I've given a blue so I'm just gonna go back uh, give this blue here and I will fine-tune this as we progress uh, what was the color of the second one it was this this type of brownish so we go there I will put the line I will put first first no marker on. I will go back to the line, solid line. I'm just going to put this brownish. I'm going to put it thinner and I'm just going to put some dots as well. Uh, so this doesn't really show so I'm just going to put something a little bit lighter here. And then the this one, okay. So now I have my freak targets. I'm not sure about the dotted. Uh, that's something that is debatable. We can uh, we could remove the dot. We can just put something like this, but make it much thinner. So if you want to to really to make sure that you focus on the on the targets, let's put them much thinner. That's it. 0.75. No dot and 0.75. Okay, so we have our targets here. Uh, reserve the right to, to fine tune some stuff. So what do we have missing? We have missing is just the label. So what we want to do on those uh, horizontal lines, on those lines here, on our target lines, we want to add a description. Now, the way I, I do it is I add here target one, but uh, I could just put the text, but what I want to put instead is I want to also put the uh, the number. So what I will be putting is I will say this is equal to target one and this number here. Okay, target one, 75, uh, target two, and here target three. So we have our uh, our target label here. Obviously, when I go through the full year, then I can put them at the bottom. But here, what I want to do is, uh, I'm just going to click one of those. I'm just going to put add labels. And after, I want to go back to it, format data labels. And I take value from sales here. This is a nice trick. And you take all this. And then what you need to do, you need to make sure that you remove the value. You don't really want the value. And then you can uh, go to format, text field here, for instance, target 175 showing there, and you can put it in bold. And then you can decide where you have it, above, below, left, center. So you can decide, maybe below is best. Now, if you want it a little bit more to the left, you can just wait. The only thing you need to do is to move it here. Just move it up like this. So it's showing here. It's, 
It's great, isn't it? Uh, maybe that's a little bit too much. I just put it here. Yeah, so that's a target. And you do the same for the others. Add data labels. Okay, so this is done. What I want to do is I want to include the full year this time. So I just going to click on those, on those thing and one of those series and when you have all this. So this is going to show you this. Then I can put uh, 60 directly here. I'm going all the way down to 60. It's already a little bit more cramped. Uh, but when I have this, this one here all the way down to 60, uh, sorry, just gonna take those, take those, put them all the way down, bring them down like this. Then you can see that the target will be, will be more obvious here. So just put, put them towards the end. I can remove those ones. Now the targets, I just put it down to 60 as well. 60 here. 60, 60, I just need to put everything down to 60. I mean, you would do that directly, but I wanted to show you first on a small chart because I think it's, it's more visible. And now I can do the same, put everything down to 60. So this is uh, the one that I've already done. If I take this one down to 60, So this, is, this won't be very obvious for the others because we don't have data yet. So I will be doing those. This is more or less the, 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 the final looking chart. Uh, you can show this in white. It'll be a little bit more obvious. So uh, where is my... Ah, I know what happened to my target. So I need to format data labels there. And then to select the range, obviously I need to put everything here. 60. Same here. So now you can see that uh, the, the target themselves, they can be, yes, yeah, they, are, they are far on the right, so they can uh, be a bit, a bit farther to the right. So you can actually change them here, uh, change them. It'd be nice to have the three of them on the same level, uh, which we worry about if I remove this. Something else that you can do is you can select your target lines and change the chart type for that series. And you just put uh, your, all your targets as area. That will give you a more obvious view of targets. Now we, can, we have to remove these labels because those labels, um, we cannot format them for some reason for, the, for these chart types, so we just remove them. Um, but uh, obviously you can play around with um, with colors here. Uh, this is one version that I have. Obviously, if I would change maybe the uh, the feel, solid feel, and I would put something completely light, maybe that would work. Anyway, so by playing around, you can have a different types of things. After playing uh, around a little bit, I came up with this. This is another option that you could have.